Jack, how are you? So the critical thing about doing what is now, at the moment, 12,000 mitigation tests a week across all our campuses is that's a big enough statistical sample for us to identify any student or any staff member, any faculty member who has the coronavirus in that group and then depending on the numbers that we're seeing to be able to zero in on areas where we see an increase in the infection rates. So our strategy for keeping our campuses uh, as disease-free as possible, as virus-free as possible, critically depends on mitigation testing, and it's working. We've succeeded in driving the positivity rate down. We've succeeded in identifying areas of concern where the numbers had been increasing, and by taking various kinds of action, we've been able to drive the numbers down again. So although continuing the semester under these conditions is difficult for everybody, and takes obviously an enormous amount of additional work and this is not exactly what our students had hoped to have as part of their collegiate experience. Nevertheless, we are able to carry out business somewhat as usual. What's so important about the labs is that firstly, they're going to increase our overall testing rate in the university from about 12,000 testers to about 25,000 tests, more than doubling the total number of tests that we have available. So what it means is that this is really mitigation on steroids, so to speak, and we're really going to be able to drive down that positivity rate even further and even more rapidly react to any outbreaks of the virus in any, any part of, uh, of the university. That's number one. Number two is that we do it on campus just near this uh, where we're talking now. The labs are functioning now. The two in Indianapolis will start functioning in the next week or so. And these are our own labs. They're also going to make it uh, quicker, more efficient, and they're going to make it cheaper. I would strongly advise and encourage all our members of the IU community to keep doing what they've been doing, to, to keep masking certainly when they're inside when appropriate to keep social distancing to take appropriate sanitary precautions and be careful of large groups of people um, take all those precautions keep vigilant and uh, i think we've shown that all of that is working so let's keep at what we've done i think so well as an institution i think compared to most other universities in the country we're actually doing very well